was a beautiful day in the island of Sorter, and right now, Thomas is taking his little passenger train up to Marin Station. But Thomas was a few minutes late today, which is not normal for him. Hello, Thomas. Oh, hello, sir. You were a few minutes late today, Thomas. Is there a reason for that? Oh, no, sir. I was just, you know, Ferdy got in my way, and I kind of talked to him for a few minutes. Thomas, I've told you this before. Talking with Bertie when you are taking your small passenger train is not a good combination. Remember when you guys had that race and you had to deal with a short delay because of all the stuff you guys did? Y yes, sir, I remember that. Well, I don't want to repeat of that. So next time, can you please be on time? Y yes, sir, I, 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 I can do that. Okay, thank you. Now off you go, put your coaches away, and just go rest in your shed until I, can, until I had to come back again. Oh, uh, certainly, sir. Hey, Gordon, did you hear what happened to Thomas? Uh, n n no, James, what happened? Sir so Thomas yelled at him, or kind of scolded him, for being a few minutes late. Oh, come on, James, why are we going to make fun of Thomas like that? You know he didn't mean to. Well, I just think it's kind of funny, Gordon, because, you know, this never happens. It's just kind of funny. James, I think you need to go back to your shed. You're kind of acting like a big bully right now. You don't stop, and I'm gonna get the fat controller and tell him about this. Oh, okay, Gordon. Uh, I'm sorry. I was no. I was just. I was just saying, man. I was just saying. I know, James. But you have to realize, it's not kind of fun to make fun of things, people like that. Oh, well, I know, Gordon. I've had my fair share of people making fun of me before, especially when I ran into those tar wagons, you know, a few years ago. Yes, I remember that, and that was actually quite funny. Gordon. Well, James, you gotta admit that was kind of funny when that happened. I know, Gordon. I'm sorry. I'll stop making fun of people. Oh, don't worry, James. I used to make fun of Will Thomas over there a long time ago. But eventually, you know, I learned to stop because, you know, he helped me once, twice, a couple of times. Okay, he helped me a lot. Yeah, same with me. You know, we kind of learned a lesson, you know, don't make fun of people. Yeah, you're kind of right. Well, Gordon, I gotta get to, you know, pull on my little train. Yeah, and I gotta get to pull on my express in a few minutes. Okay, well, um, bye, Gordon. Alright, goodbye, James. And James went and called up to his freight train and was on his way to leave. It was the next day, and Thomas was on his way to pick up Annie and Clarabelle from the sheds. But when Thomas was on his way, he didn't notice that the points were still against him. So as he came to the junction, he hit the points, and, well, accident happened. He came off the rails, and he skidded down the tracks until eventually coming to a stop almost hitting Molly and Percy oh my gosh Thomas are you all right yes Percy I'm fine I didn't mean to crash you know those points were against me oh don't worry I'll go get the I'll go get the fat controller to help you oh okay so Percy went and he left to go find the fat controller Thomas, are you sure you're alright? That kind of was kind of hard. Are you sure your wheels aren't broken? No, I'm fine, Molly. I'm pretty sure my wheels are in pretty good order. A few minutes later, Percy returned with the fat controller. Why, my, my, Thomas. I didn't know you'd go and crash like this. I know, sir. I didn't notice that the points were against me. So, yeah, I guess it's kind of my fault there. Oh, no, 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 Thomas. It's not your fault. You see, we recently had a new computer system put in to switch the points for us, but from your accident and the two accidents we had before, it is a very clear that these two, that these new computer systems are not good use. We should probably go back to our old series, or old version basically, of having people doing, you know, manual work and turning the switches manually instead of using these computer systems. Yeah, you're right, sir. Alright, Thomas, we'll go... We'll go get Harvey and get him, get you back on the tracks. Oh, okay, thank you, sir. Eventually, Harvey arrived at the crash scene. Oh, hello there, Thomas. I see you're into a little accident. Yes, I know, Harvey. You don't have to make fun of me for it. Oh, don't worry, Thomas. I'm not making fun of you. I just like to talk a bit when, you know, I'm helping engines out. Oh, okay, that makes sense, Harvey. Okay, Thomas, we're going to pull you backwards, all right? Oh, okay, Harvey. Alright, just make sure you don't fall, okay? Uh, y y yes, Harvey. 
Okay, come on, little Thomas. We'll bring you back to the little station area to get you fixed. And all of Thomas and Harvey want to be fixed at the works. Welp. Whoops, I fell. Welp. Now that Thomas is getting worked on, I have to have somebody else, you know, pull the train. Um, who should I have? Percy! Uh, y y y yes, sir? Can you pull Thomas's coaches today? Uh, y yes, sir, I can do that. Okay, thank you. And so, for the next few days, Percy went and took Thomas's little passenger train around the little island of Solor. Even though Percy says it's a bit of a tiring job, he does like it a lot. And that is the end of this episode. Well, I hope all of you guys enjoyed it. This is actually... Camera stamp, please say. This is my first time making a video like this. I know you guys might not like it, and you might also not like that. There's a lot of jump cuts in the cameras, but hey, first time doing this, and, you know, I like it. So yeah, I'm just going to do this little end card here, it's just me talking at the end of the episode. Eventually, you know, I do plan to get, you know, better stuff, what I mean eventually, probably never. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and uh, yeah, goodbye everyone.